welcome back to In the Know. We are talking about color personalities today. If you have any questions for Angela Dacey, our personal development expert, you can give us a call. And now we welcome Josie Jameson. You are a blue personality. I am. And what is a blue personality? You want me to start? Please do, yeah. <laughs> Um, blue personality, so that we're still sitting in the emotional center. The difference between a blue and a green is greens are very expressive with their emotions. Um, blues are more internal, so they will feel deeply, but they don't always express. Would you agree with that, Josie? I completely agree with that. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> um, the other thing with the blue that I want to touch base on, and you can acknowledge this, is that they also process everything. So you know how Jenna was talking mm -hmm. about how she feels everything? Blues will process those feelings, and you need to have a lot of patience with blues because you can't ask them to make a split decision right here they need to go and think of all the what-ifs and they're the great devil's advocate right because you will think of every single possible thing that could happen so that then the right course of action takes place would that sound like you Josie I have to think it over <laughs> they're also sarcastic <laughs> So tell us a little bit with the blue. You are in a corporate job in a corporate world and talk a bit a little bit about that around organization and perfectionism which blues do have. I think it plays well in the corporate world because um, I, I am a planner and it just so happens that I'm a project manager. So it lends itself well to my job. Mm -hmm. um, and, and in the corporate world, you need to have some structure and you need to be able to have that vision. And you need to be able to um, weigh up a situation and pick what is, and be strategic and pick what, and say, okay, I've listened to everybody and now this is the direction that I think we need to go in. So I think that it lends itself well to, to the business community. Mm -hmm. um, when I was listening to Jen, I, I, I found her very interesting because I thought, well, you know, she spoke about being in the corporate world, and I thought, I, if she was on my team and I was the project manager, how important it is for me to be um, sensitive to what she's going through. As a green personality, I would have to be sensitive to that. And I think that that's one of the interesting things about learning different personality types. As you said at the top of the show, it really um, helps you with all types of relationships mm -hmm. and, and wherever it is that you are, be it in your personal life or in your business life. So yeah. as a manager, do you find it difficult to make decisions at work? No, I don't. Once you thought them through, though, I think that <laughs> I, I think that I can think about it on the fly. So it's not that we have to take time and say, "Okay, I'm going to get back to you in a day or so," because our our pace is not like that. So you have to think about them. Mm -hmm. You have to in internalize them. So what I find is that I listen intently. I really listen to what you're saying in that moment when we're having the conversation. I am a hundred and ten percent there and so that I can listen to it and I can make that decision mm -hmm. and and feel good about that decision what it is though is it, it's tiring because every conversation that you have throughout the day you're there mm -hmm. you're present for it right yeah. definitely because they love detail and they don't like to miss details either um, which is great because you really do honor the person and acknowledge the person that they're speaking with but they, they, because of that listening, that's exhausting. It can be very exhausting. Yeah. Where does perfectionism come into your play? Ask that. Yeah. I don't, I don't think I'm a perfectionist, but then I think a lot of perfectionists <laughs> don't think Sorry. that they're perfectionists. <laughs> but I do think that God is in the details. Right. So I do enjoy being in the details. And I really think that that's what takes something from being kind of good to being awesome when right. you dot all the I's and cross all the T's. So I don't know if that's <laughs> being say, a perfectionist. That's I'm not perfectionist. sure. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> is your house very clean? I was just going to say. Uh, I, I try to have it that way, and I try and have it. I don't like clutter. I don't like things out of place. I don't, uh, uh, we had a long conversation about uh, kitchen counters one day, and I like mine to be pretty clean. Bare. It doesn't have to be bare, but what's on it has to be uh, there for a reason. There's okay. a place. In the, yeah, absolutely. There's a place. Okay. Well, but isn't everyone like that? <coughs> sure. <laughs> no. <Okay. laughs> My place could be anywhere. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know where it is, but that yeah, that's, that's just me. So you're married. I am. You have a family. Yeah. So you're married. So yes. is your spouse a complementary color to you, or does your blueness uh, drive them crazy? <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> 
he adores my blueness. Okay. Well, I don't know. You'd have to ask him. But I think uh, I think that he is more on the. I, I think he's actually more on the orange side. And mm -hmm. I think that he's more in a in the root chakras. Yeah, he's an um, artist as well. Yeah, and I think that that's that's a good balance for us because mm -hmm. um, uh, one of uh, one of my weakest areas is the orange side. But I think that he helps balance that right. out in me. So, and I think that I help give him that structure. So I think that we are a complementary team mm -hmm. because of that. Mm -hmm. One thing I'd want to say for any blues out there is if you've got a blue spouse or again friend, family, coworker, f kind of try to pull the, the feeling out of them because they really do feel a lot but you're not always going to get that expressed. It's almost like there's a little plug in that throat area because yeah. they represent that blue. So it's something where when you're talking especially corporate and they are so corporate and they are so organized we don't always think that we want to stop and go but you know, Josie how do you feel about this project and then that might just take them aback a bit and make them really look internally because they will feel. Yes. 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 Very much yeah. so. Abs and sometimes I have to stop and do that with myself because we've had a couple of episodes um, or situations in our private life recently that w that have been with friends and I've had to stop and say and they've been quite emotional things and I've had to stop because my comfort zone is to well we'll put a plan in action right. you know we'll we'll, we'll t to think strategically around it but I constantly have to check myself and say but how do you feel about this are you okay with this it's okay mm -hmm. if you're sad and I have that talk with myself it's okay if you're sad you can be sad about it if you're angry you can yeah. be angry about it and would that be your advice to viewers at home it, it would be it would be I think it's um, I think that uh, Angela hit on the point that you you want to aim to be the rainbow and I think one of the things that Angela has taught me is to um, learn how to tap into my other, uh, to, to acknowledge where I'm at and to tap into my other, um, to my other colors and how to grow them and how to, uh, uh, and how to, to be a little bit red sometimes and be a little bit orange and to express the violet. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Picking the best out of the, out of every color and creating your own personal rainbow. Yeah. Excellent. Thanks for joining us, Josie. Thank Don't you. Don't go anywhere. More colors when we return here on In the Know.